Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today's topic is lead water supply pipes. All right, first off, what am I talking about? What is a water supply pipe? Is that the piping that goes throughout the inside of your house? No, the piping that goes throughout the inside of your house is distribution piping. The supply piping is the stuff that comes from the city main bringing water into your home. And the point at which we make a distinction between supply piping and distribution piping is probably gonna be the water meter. Now, in Minnesota, we typically have the water meter in the basement. Now, I've heard, I know, in other parts of the country, warmer climates where they don't have basements, you probably have a water meter somewhere out in the yard. But here in Minnesota, we got it in the basement, so you've got the water supply piping, the stuff from the city coming into the basement, it stubs out a little bit, and then we've got a water meter somewhere near the basement floor. Here's what it looks like, and this home, you can see that we've got this big bulb, this big wiped lead joint on the water piping coming in. That will always be done when you have lead coming into the house. Now, the presence of that wipe joint doesn't necessarily mean that you have a lead service pipe bringing water into the house. It means you might have it. You really need to look at that pipe that's coming in. And there's, there's two little tricks you can use to figure out whether it's lead. Number one is try to scratch it. You can actually scratch this. I mean, I, I've heard places say, you know, use something metal, use a screwdriver or something else. But seriously, you can scratch this stuff with your fingernail if it's lead. I mean, that stuff is so soft. And when you do scratch it, it's gonna produce kind of a shiny scratch. So that's, that's one way to help determine. Another is put a magnet to it. If it's a metallic pipe and you put a magnet up to it, if it's copper or steel, the magnet will stick to it. If it's lead, the magnet will not stick to it. Now, the magnet possibly could stick to it if it's lead. If, well, I'm not gonna get into that. But I'll tell you, if the magnet doesn't stick to it and it's metallic, it's lead. So that's how you can figure out really easily for yourself whether you have lead or not. Now, you may also wanna call the city because all that's telling you is if you have lead coming into the home, but there's also gonna be something called a curb stop. Now, this is like a shutoff out in your yard. And for, for some cities like Minneapolis, the homeowner owns the piping going out to the curb stop as well as the piping that connects to the city's main. Now you go over to St. Paul, St. Paul has different rules. The city owns the stuff from the main to the curb stop. That's all owned by the city. And then from the curb stop into the house, that's the homeowner's responsibility. So it differs city to city. So if you're outside of the area I'm talking about, check with your municipality and ask them, ask them, what do I have for the water piping coming in into my house? That's, that's the best way to know. Cities tend to keep very good records of this. In the city of St. Paul, for example, they recent, I think it was recently, I just recently found out about it. They've got this map that details the type of water piping coming into every home throughout the entire city of St. Paul. And at the time that I'm recording this, this is April of 2022, they say that 28% of their homes have lead water supplies coming in, making up approximately 26,000 houses. Crazy, isn't it? They've got a ton. And the reason I know about this is because St. Paul just recently announced a plan to go in and replace all of these lead lines going from the city all the way into the house. They're even taking care of the homeowner's responsibility portion of this. They're gonna be funding it. I had a chat with one of the engineers at the waterworks department and they said they don't exactly know where all the funds are going to come from yet, but they're going to get the funds and it's going to happen. And this is a 10 year project, very ambitious project. That is huge. So what does this tell us about the concern level if you have a lead water pipe coming into your house. For me, it would make me quite concerned. If, if, I were, if I lived in a house that had a lead water supply pipe, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't think I would drink that water. 
I mean, basically, if you are buying a house that has this or you, or you own a house where you have a lead supply pipe bringing water in, you've got three choices. Number one, you replace the lead line. And if it's not being done as some huge project like the city of St. Paul is undertaking, if you're just paying for it yourself, you're paying for the cost of digging up your yard and going all the way out to the city main to replace that, potentially even going across the street. How do you know if you got to cross the street to replace the line or not? Look for fire hydrants. If the fire hydrant is on your side of the street, you don't need to cross the street and vice versa. So that was option number one. Option number two. Don't drink the water. I'm sorry. It was a great song by Dave Matthews Band. Whether you love them or hate them, you got to admit, that was a great song. That's option number two. Don't drink the water. And how do you, how do, you do that? Well, you buy bottled water. You, you know, you get the big jugs at the store. Everybody sells them now. You can buy them for like five bucks at grocery stores and home improvement stores. Everywhere you go, they got those big five-gallon jugs. That would be an option. Option number three is be really careful about how you drink your water. And it means maybe using some type of filtration system or being very diligent about running your water for a long period of time before you drink it. And I'm talking maybe five minutes. I mean, I, I've seen some places where they say, run your water for up to 60 seconds. Well, I know from testing I've done at my last house, it took me 60 seconds just to get water from the water heater to my faucet. That didn't even begin to affect the water piping coming into my house. So, I mean, my, my advice would be run the water for a solid five minutes before you use any of that water for drinking. And the idea is that you're going to flush out any of that water that has led, let lead get absorbed into it. Oh, and one final point. Is your home inspector going to tell you about this or not? Well, I can tell you, home inspection standards of practice do not require home inspectors to report on environmental hazards, things like lead. That's, ex that's excluded from standards of practice. Home inspectors are required to describe water distribution piping, but not water supply piping. So there's no requirement for your home inspector to tell you about this, but with how easy it is to identify lead piping in a lot of Minnesota homes, a lot of home inspectors will tell their clients about this. And that's what we do. And we suggest to our client, do your own research on lead, decide what your comfort level is with this potential hazard, and then decide for yourself how you'd like to proceed. And it's gonna be one of those three things that I suggested. All right, I think I've just scratched the surface on lead. Ha <laughs> get it? This is, this is some introductory information. There's a lot more information out there. I will include some links in this video. This video will accompany a blog post that I'm writing on the topic. And if you're buying a home or you own a home with lead, hopefully this will point you a little bit in the right direction of what you may want to do about it. Again, I'm Ruben Saltzman. Thanks for watching. Take care.